So here, um, what I start with is the wire, and I use a wire stripper to basically take off about an eighth inch or three millimeters. And here's kind of what we end up with. Then what I do is I take each one of the wires and very gently I twist them so that they're twisted together. Okay. Then what I do is I dip them in the rosin. Get a little rosin on just a little bit. And what I want to do is make sure that the wires are not separated apart now when you dip them into the rosin. Then what I want to do is just give me a little bit of solder, each wire, make sure that it's pre-soldered. And then what I've actually done to this one here prior to is I've actually taken the whole connector like this and I've actually dipped it into the rosin to make sure that there is kind of rosin, the remnants of rosins on each one of them, okay? And if there isn't any on them, um, what you can do is you can take a little toothpick or a little tool and you can go in and you can put a little bit on, okay? Anyway, so these are pretty much ready to solder. Then what I have is I've pre-cut a whole bunch of, um, I think these are two millimeter shrink wrap. And I cut them about quarter to three eighths of an inch long, which is about six to eight, nine millimeters. <laughs> What I do is, um, what I do in, on the contact, the center contacts, I make those all positive. And then the one side, I make them all negatives. And then on the other side, I make all the top ones, I make those the signal wire. And then I just do, if you notice, here, let me do one. If you notice, they're kind of like in an arrow. So the first row kind of points over to the, to the right and so on uh, and there's five rows of them which is for five wires so this is a 15 pin um i think it's a monitor connector actually anyway so notice in this side here is i have the um pot positive in the center and i have the negative up on top which is right now so the most difficult one to get to is a center one so we do the center one first and I kind of start from the side, so actually I'll have to do the negative on this one first and then flip it over because the cupping on the positive is upside down. I started with the first wire right side up and then the, the negative was the last that I put in. Then I just kind of bend these wires and I lay them down into the cupping. And because there's already solder on it and there's already a little resin on the uh, rosin on the uh, receiver, um, it's as soon as it gets hot, it's going to melt on there. Now I just tuck on it, make sure that it's sitting there and it's sitting there. Now what I can do is I can simply just push the shrink wrap forward. And then what I like to do since, uh, the next one, I kind of want to get some space. So I like to shrink this one here first. So with the heat gun, there we go. Now I flip it over, and now you notice I have the signal wire on top. The, the red hot is still in the middle. Um, can you see there? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip a shrink wrap over the positive, which I already have, and I'm gonna solder the, the middle one, which is the hardest one to do. So again, there's already solder on it, so all I need to do is just get it hot, and just lay it in there. There goes and tuck on it and then just make sure that it's not soldered onto anything else if you need to you can use an exacto knife to separate it if you need to now i want to do is i slip the shrink wrap over it and you should be able to slip it all the way forward to the um, block itself you can kind of see i got it there okay, can you see it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it with the heat gun. There we go. Now the last one, which is the signal wire. Slip the shrink wrap over it. And just give it a little bit of a bend so it's easy to get it in there. And I slip it in there. Take my iron. Okay. 
And that's it. It's on there. And I'll set the shrink wrap over it. So basically that's the way you have it. So you just keep flipping them back and forth. Um, I like to make a, let me heat this one up here first. So I can let it go. You may notice that the rosin that's on the um, thing, on the uh, uh, connector itself is starting to, um, it melts, that's fine. I like to make one sample one first. Um, this is for a four wire servo. I haven't connected the last four. I get to use that as a uh, as a guide. So I put the first one on because as you flip it back and forth around, it's really easy to forget which is the signal side and which is the uh, negative side. Um, so that way I keep it. And now when I'm going to do the other side, what I'll do is I'll take this one that I made, put it on, and now it becomes my guide for how I make the receiving um, connector, okay? Again, you can see here on the top side, I have the signal wires. In the bottom side, I have the um, pot or the negative, okay? That's it, just one by one. Thank you so much.